All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is Zigzag Duck coming to you from somewhere in this world. I don't know who's out there, but welcome anyway. And uh, we'll start seeing some. Ah, the nightmare tank. Yay, we got signal. We're we're live. Now we'll let everybody else kind of join in until we get going for a little bit. Not broadcasting from home today, so uh, I'm in Wrocław visiting visiting family out here. So I think I've tested everything enough that uh, everything should be in good shape for this thing. And uh, yeah, you you brought up a good question, Nightmare. Uh, I I in the title I I assumed it would be jade who would be jealous when we find the old girlfriend but you made a good point <laughs> now what about Diggs? how dare i forget Diggs? because he, he was kind of jealous when jade first showed up so there's nothing that says he wouldn't be jealous with the old girlfriend either Yeah, yesterday ended up being a busy day for me too, so I'm glad we pushed this stream off to today. I think everything just works better this way. At least for me it did. Now I just got to be careful because I'm actually using the actual laptop keyboard, not the other extra keyboard, the full-size keyboard that I usually use. So uh, can we say misclicks in our future? I'm going to have to be really, <laughs> really careful with my fingers because uh, the, the laptop keyboard is just a tiny bit smaller. Figure by saying that out loud now, maybe I'll prevent <laughs> something bad from happening, I hope. I better not be foreshadowing something here. Alrighty then, I, I'm, I'm showing 6 o'clock, I don't know that a lot of people are on board, but you know, when it's time, it's time, and people will join as they can, so that's just the nature of a stream. So we're going to get going, and see what's up ahead. Well, there's, there's an airship up ahead, I can see that already. What do we see down there? We see something standing there. And we see stuff we can pick up. We see people moving around. I guess uh, it's up to us to get a little closer. And see what we can see. Okay, or not get closer. Oh, Collectors? Oof. Who the hell are they collecting? 
us. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh, baby. We get our first look. I told you not to turn on. Uh oh. Shit. No one's ever survived to fight with these guys. Don't forget fighting, man. We sneak past them. Yeah, they, they, you know, to my eye, they look worse than the pure. <laughs> if you want my opinion. So, did you see the objective? It said, uh, sneak. We apparently have to avoid these guys. Keep out of their eyelines. Don't you tell me how to sneak, girl. I'm the best sneaker here. <laughs> the best. They're all going to say, I'm the best. I'm the best. So squads. This is something new in the mechanics. Let's take a look. Enemies are divided into squads, each with, with its own icon. So what does that mean? So it's right after their name, they'll have an icon. So if a squad member enters combat, all other members of the squad enter combat as well. Well, this can kind of be good. Well, it probably has the same effect in general, I'm going to guess, as just distance from the target, like in Mutant Year Zero, when our last episode, the, the, the brother called for help. He only could call so many because the others were out of range. So... It's probably a similar type of mechanic, I would imagine. But it helps us identify. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he goes, I knew he'd chime. I knew they'd all chime in and say that. Hey, Patrick, how you doing? Good to see you here. So we, uh, we just discovered these. We just barely started, and we found the collectors. We now know, and maybe we better be... And this says, difficult enemies recommended level 15. We're sitting at level 7. So yeah, if I, if I can manage to sneak by these guys, guess what? That's what we're going to do. But there's all sorts of stuff out there to pick up. Looks like there's a terminal next to one of those in the back. Oh, let's see... How far can this guy see? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he, he sees us and he's tracking us. Do we need to move? Oh, he's coming our way. <laughs> he's coming our way. So this is they're going to make this a challenge. Not your basic sneak job. Okay, he stopped there. The other one's walking out there. Okay, he's turning around. Let's see if we can shadow him. Get a sense for where he's going and see if we can get around him somehow based on how he's wandering. Okay, he stops there. He's not his back is turned to us, but if he turns around, we're running. Okay, he's doing this. Let's see if there's something over here. Can we get around this building? No, we require a boat boathouse card, so we need to get scrambling and look for a freaking boathouse card to open that door. That's obviously, and he's coming back already, that's obviously our, our ticket to get out of here. We just got to see where a boat card could be. And I see several shiny objects in the distance. There's something green, but the green isn't green normally like a metapod. He's moving away. Let's see if we can get over this way. Green, green is stuff like metapods, bottles. I'm trying to remember of anything else I've seen that's green. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. Although, <laughs> as soon as I say that, although, okay, he's coming back. Let's let's get a sense. I gotta run. Will he be able to see this far? He stops somewhere over there. Okay, this is a safe zone. We have discovered a safe zone, my friends. We have discovered a safe zone. Uh, I, I think it is safe to actually come over here and pick this up. And, you know, this 
terminal. There's a terminal there. I don't consider that safe. <laughs> the way I've been caught before. So I'm not even going to attempt to try and read that terminal. Even though it says there's space around it to, to get it. Now what's over here? There's another green thing by this guy. But we're not going to be able to get around him. Oh man, he's looking our way. Oh well, look at there. We got something we can bust through, and there's something blue in the background in this little shed thing. Problem is, how do we get it? Because I bet you we're too close to this guy. So, Diggs, do we dare have you break through right? Oh, okay, look, look, it even says, will be heard, just what I was afraid of. Um... Maybe we try to hide. Like let's let's hide in the bush. Let's split up. Riding point. And that well, I wonder if that's my my fear, but they can't they can't make us not be able to hide, right? When they when it's obvious that's probably where we got to go. So is that collector if I go run digs out, I'll buy his lonesome. and crash that door and then run back into our bush and we all hide trying not to breathe and rattle the branches um can we do that let's find out oh we're gonna be heard i better move fast go 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 okay we're hidden now the question is if we're seen we're probably dead Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Oh, that guy looks badass. Okay, 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 okay. I love the way these collectors look. Now, you notice some of them seem to have shields. Some of them do not. Some of them seem to have those fancy... Uh, Egyptian robes. Oh, and look, he also seems to have turned his back on us. And you can see after the name Warden, you can see the symbol that shows he's part of a certain group. Yeah, but I can't get to that green thing even with his back turned. They, they have some senses behind them, un unlike others. So let's see if we can sneak in here and be quiet. I hope, <laughs> I hope that better damn well be a boat key. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I was going to say, if that was just some little doodad and we still had to find a boat key, I was going <laughs> to, oh, I was going to be concerned. Is there anything back here to pick up while we're here? Okay. Now we got to time our return. Everybody group up. Come on. Okay, in fact, he's walking away now. So we know we can get by him, because that's how we got by him before. Wow. Oh, that's the other guy that can see that far. So we gotta remember, bushes are a potential good way to hide. I wonder if we're in a bush, if we can see out enough to shoot. Where is this other... Okay, he's... We're going to have to wait. He's got to walk up to the boathouse and then walk back towards us before we can even head that way. Because we can't, we aren't sneaky enough as much as we all bragged about our sneakiness. We are not sneaky enough to sneak by a collector in these tight quarters. So I say twiddle our thumbs and keep an eye on them. Stop. Okay, you can see how far he can see. There's there's a highlighted tile right there. Okay, now we can very carefully kind of follow him back. Because we know there's going to be a brief opening when we got to be real quick. Use that card key that we found. And hopefully that's all we got to do to get by him. I mean, that better be all we got to do to get by him. Okay, okay. Hustle, hustle, hustle. 
Go, go, go. Now these guys seem so slow, don't they? <laughs> and uh, we should have brought some oil for that door, because if these uh, collectors didn't hear that, I don't have much respect for them. Let, let's go even farther away. A trooper, a trooper. Yeah, these guys have the square symbols. The other guys had uh, the triangle symbols over on the other side. That's going to be one wicked battle. I'm telling you, that's going to be one wicked battle when we're, we're strong enough to start fighting those guys. And look, uh, I, the, our... Let's find Baxter. Okay, so we, we've, we've passed them up. We're good. Whew. I'm telling you, I did not want to have to do something by mistake and have to deal with those guys. I have a feeling that would have been a restart. Spendthrift ruins. Baxter's here somewhere. We gotta save her. Alright, how about we talk to Diggs first? No end to these monsters, Diggs. They're wearing me down. We're wearing them down. They're scared of you. We're gonna save that girl. I'm picking up a life reading. Not the time for jokes, dude. Hey, what jokes? You don't have life readings. You never will have life readings. Call it intuition, then. A message from my soul. We'll save her. I have to admit, I did like the, the artwork on those collectors. They look pretty dang cool. This Baxter girl. She's your friend? She was my best friend. Only friend, come to think of it. We kind of grew apart. I got too busy with, um... You know. Ah, uh, sad, lonely Elvis. I can be your friend, if you want one. Mm, that sounded weird. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, we can be friends. Just mm, tell me why you smashed that hologram. The real reason. Elvis, this is so much bigger than you can... Yeah, forget it. Friends are overrated. <laughs> I'm looking for family. I was thinking we might have a moment there, but then uh, now everything got thrown back to the same status quo between those two. Come on, Baxter needs us. All right, we are in the Spendthrift Ruins. This is actually where she supposedly went missing, so I expect uh, we'll have some sort of battle to. Spendthrift Ruins up ahead. Mm -hmm. That's where Baxter was. We have to find her. And get her back to her dad. Ooh, I Oop. smell a fight up ahead. Bring uh, it the hell on. Yeah, bring it the hell on. But I, I see something over here that we've seen before. There's another one watching us. Wonder if there's a way to talk to this one. Oh yeah, I think I see something. Oh, Diggs, how about you lead the way? Okay, how about we go talk to this guy, and then it looks like we have some things to pick up back over here, so let's not forget that. Oh, we, we need... He only talks to Elvis, apparently. Elvis, we've been watching. Another watcher. You following me? Yes. Promises to Bamadi must be kept. Wait... You know my mama? We pledge to keep the flame of her order burning through this dark time of chaos. Don't give up, Elvis. Your destiny awaits. America needed you then, and it needs you now. Uh, but oh. you got the wrong guy. America doesn't know me. I'm just a mechanic from sedentary. You are what you choose to be. There are other watchers. Find us all. Okay, so this is now the second Watcher that we've found. Uh, yeah, and, and Nightmare, he is a witch doctor, kind of shaman-looking kind of guy, but I don't know, that might have been the episode you, you arrived late in, uh, kind of in Eden. I don't remember. But we, we have met a Watcher before, 
In fact, uh, if we go over here to quests, the Watchers, yeah, it's updated now. So there's three more, apparently, Watchers that we're going to need to find. And once we find the fifth one, apparently we gain a whooping 10,000 experience and a robe. A special robe, I would assume. So that that's the side quest. Right now, the Watchers, however... Uh, are rated as a 12 to 14 kind of mission. So we're probably not going to find all the Watchers for a while. We just kind of got to keep our eyes open as we're wandering around. Yeah, <laughs> cosmic tag. That's a good way to put it. Let's go see. Uh, 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 uh. Forget this. Well, we'll pick it up because we're here. There's the special color we want to look at. What is it? Assault. Oh, level two. Level two assault rifle. Look at that. De 70 base damage now. So that's just like uh, the the ice gun, whatever you want to call that. The, whatever the exact name of that ice gun is. It's pretty similar. Pretty close, except it's loud. So uh, that's a nice upgrade. That's a nice upgrade. So originally calibrated to shoot sticky rubber stink bullets at the homeless. <laughs> oh man, this Patriot PR5 has been retrofitted to shoot deadlier rounds. So, and, and despite news reports to the contrary, crime didn't completely disappear during the Great Stability. Interesting. Well, I'm kind of leaning towards Elvis taking this thing on. And as a matter of fact, let's take a look. If we look at our party, uh, we got Elvis. Well, Elvis and yeah, Jade are raged. So, you know, I'm kind of leaning towards let's get some more rage on Diggs. So when we get up into our next battle, we're going to have uh, a lot of rage to expend. And we just might be able to really do some extra damage. So, let's see. So, Diggs, I'm leaning towards, let's give you the ice gun and have you do the silent kills. Which, you know, a clanky robot, that sounds weird, I know. But who has the ice gun right now? It's you, Elvis. So, let's not do that. And then, Elvis, I want you to have that new gun. Which means we can probably, maybe, get rid of that assault weapon. Here, I'm doing a big juggle. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um... Yeah, so if you're going to hold the ice gun, that means, Elvis, you're going to get your trusty disc gun back temporarily. And it means we have an extra weapon, and you already have an assault rifle. So there's nothing... Uh, I guess that's, that's how we'll do it initially. Yeah, I noticed that too. There's, there's some kind of symbol over here. Look. Steamboat's still intact. That's what we're looking at. I love the, the gator swimming by as we look at the steamboat. They have done some cool things with this. I, I, I have to admit, I like some of, the, some of the look of this game. It's growing on me. So, uh, Diggs, let's put you in the lead. Just because you're now the silent guy. And we'll find out if we find anything silent. It would appear I see a fire. So, oh yeah, I see enemies. I see a frog walking along in the background so far. So uh, we are on a battlefield now. I'm going to go left first. See if we see anything over here. Yeah, Jade, may, that might, it could potentially be an upgrade for Jade, although she has the sniper weapon. I, I'm wondering if I want to give her sniper and two single shots. Yeah, that's a tough call right now. Uh, um, oh, you know, well, now I want to keep the double shot on the ice gun at the moment, I think. Remember, we have an expanded magazine. Or, now that I have a higher damage once we go loud thing, I don't necessarily have 
to have a bunch of multi shots on the thing. Maybe I give the multi shot to Jade and give her the disc on it, like you said. Maybe. Hmm. Let, let me take a quick look there and, and, and see if because uh, some of your ideas are making sense out there. Let, let's just take a look at these guys again. Um, if I brought the disc gun here instead of the assault, I like I still like you having a long range gun. And it, it well it does similar damage at long range. You'd, you'd be a long range person then. But it just means it that uh, doesn't give variety to Elvis. Well, eventually he'll he might get the ice gun back. I'm just trying to up the rage in. So yeah, for the time being, hold on to that, and then we'll try the disc gun here. Those are still both semi longer range, so you're still my long range person. You have the ability to throw longer, and then we'll just well I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna think on that. I'm still still don't know if I'm sold on that. Okay, so there's a scout that looks like potentially I don't know if that other one's a scout. Oh, a skull crusher. Except it looks like someone's staring right at him, so I doubt I can jump right in there and kill him. Unless uh, we use a bottle. Who's Tragel? Prize for Tragel. So apparently, Tragel, it doesn't look like we can squeeze by here. So let's uh, start going right. One left doesn't work, obviously. <laughs> we'll go right. Yeah, I want to keep circling around still. Okay, we got a building over here. Okay, we don't want to get too close. We got to be careful about this scout. He's kind of been going back and forth in front of that building. <gasps> ah, he's coming this way. Oh, and there's stuff in here to pick up. Or is it out here? Let's find out. Whooping plastic. I see uh, a find of a different color on the roof up there. So let, let's find a way into this building. As a matter of fact, Diggs, can you bash through that? Oh, I think I think there's like a brick wall at the base, so it's not a full it's not a full wooden thing to bash through. That's why we're not able to bash. That's what it looks like. Oh, we got something green. Metapod. Uh, go to the oh, it's a passenger side item. Yeah, Metapod. Usually it's either I'll just check in this corner so we don't have to come back. Nothing. So let's see if we can get into this building over here. Oh, it looks like uh it kind of looks like an old fast food place is what it looks like. Okay, here it is. It doesn't give me a warning that anybody's near, so let's break it down. I like that it kind of warned me on that other map. Yeah, they could have. Maybe there's a collector hiding around that we'll be able to get info from and find out. Well, collector? A metal hand. Yeah, or... Metal hand? Well, Elvis kind of has a metal hand in a way. It's just that these frogs don't look strong enough to, to be able to take down a collector. That's, that's I guess, the only reason I, I find out. Okay, the room seems fairly clean. Oh, well, until we got close to something. Oh, there's something outside too. Cheap plastic. Now, where are the wandering scouts? Because I don't want to wander into a scout. Now, we also got a gun master. Now, he, so far, is the strongest one we've seen. The, the scout is coming back. Can we all get up on the roof before he gets back? Please. 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 Okay. <laughs> they, they, they were slow listeners today. 
What data encoder did I pick up? Did I, I picked up a data encoder? I didn't even notice. Let's go take a look at it. I, I, I missed that. I was busy talking. So in the codex, what did we pick up? Oh, the great lie excerpt. Thank you for Edison's total lack of response to these accusations is an obvious admission of responsibility. It's apparent now that the Great Stability was a short-term fix for a growing ecological time bomb. The U.S. government should take control of the situation before it's too late. So Edison uh, is being lowered in our esteem every time we find out more information about Edison. The Great Stability seems to be the great scam. <laughs> this is the way it's starting to sound now. Thank you, uh, Nightmare, for bringing that to my attention. What do we got here? Ooh, okay. So, acid. It's 20 acid over time now. No, I don't think I have this yet. Let, let's go check. I know I have an acid skill that we can apply acid with a, with a shot, but I don't think I have an acid chip yet. Let's just double check uh, my asthma chips. So I got a vamp and a vamp 2.0, a jacker, burn, burn I like, AP saver I like, acid, yeah it is new, I like, and boy if there's a big enemy I've learned that I think I like the decisor also. So my four favorite chips are here on the bottom, the ones on the top. You know, I, once we get more miasma abilities and higher higher power, kilowatt power, I, I, I'll like more of a variety where I can use them more situationally. Right, right now, these bottom four are the only ones that seem to make sense for us at this point in the game. If you want my opinion. Hey, Glacer, how you doing? Well, it's the same style, I think. I think the thing I, I I love that it also it has uh, sneaky aspects because we I don't know if the the first part of this mission was total sneak, but I also like the fact that that I don't know if we've found any missions where you totally can just stealth it and and so it's more like you need to be careful and whittle down the pods, but at some point it's like you're gonna have to fight a lot more in this one. And I kind of like that. It's a, it's it's a, it's more of a balance. You get you get the sneak factor, but then you get some really fun battle factors, and there's some wonderful toys. Okay, that guy's coming back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! They have pet. Oh, I thought we were done with trees. Well, at least they're saplings. But if I look at the way they're facing. I can't tell where their heads are, where their faces are. A hundred percent. But I could definitely, uh... Oh! Who's walking towards us? Oh, it's that guy. That better be as far as he goes. <laughs> Sneaking up behind... Okay, good. That. So this is our little safe zone here. So I'm kind of thinking... I'd feel a lot more safe splitting those two things up. Now, I could get on a roof over here, but I, I, I only have one silent shot. So maybe we try setting up to throw a bottle, I'm thinking. <laughs> How much scrap would a jack... I can't even say it. <laughs> I don't do well with tongue twisters. How much scrap would a jack chip jack if a jack chip could jack scrap? Okay, very good. Yeah, I, I I don't mind mutant. I I love I'm loving to death mutant year zero, and I think they've done a great job with the characters there. In fact, in mutant year zero, I think I fell in love with the characters faster than I ever did here. So in that respect, I warmed up to those characters a lot faster. So Diggs, you're the guy with the magic shot, and uh, Jade, you're the one. So let's get to you. 
Oh wait, that guy's coming back. I, let, let's talk about this in the bush. <laughs> a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, right? Yeah, I, I, let, let's, let's think this out safely. <laughs> I, I would have got talking and then this guy would have walked up and then we would have been hidden. I mean, uh, exposed, unhidden. Okay, so I'm thinking when he walks away, Jade, I'm going to move you up behind... I was going to say behind the school desk, but I guess those are desks or chairs and tables for the fast food restaurant. So, Jade, uh, we, can we tab to you? Well, I know you're hiding. Can we split up? I'm going this way. Yeah. And maybe we'll, we'll test throwing a bottle from here. See if that pulls him where we want. And then Diggs, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep Elvis in the bushes for now, because we're trying to do this quiet. Well, who's standing in your way? Oh, it's because I have a small keyboard and I was pressing uh, the key above the W. Okay. Uh, uh, we're supposed to split up. Come on, dude, get in here. Hide. Let's split up again. And I'm thinking maybe if we put you about there. And then let's get back to Jade. And try the ambush. The ambush being a bottle. Yeah, if I put it there, that should draw him away far enough from the other one, I hope. Let's give it a go. A little blue line seemed to indicate. See, even saplings are curious. Long as there's no big trees around. And, uh, let's see. You know, when I talk about trees, I have to share, back back when I was a little kid, uh, there was this thing called Indian Guides, your father and son kind of activity. I guess uh, maybe kind of scout, kind of similar to a s little Cub Scouts or something. And uh, you had to come up with these Indian, and now it's probably, you know, now it's probably uh, politically incorrect to, to do Indian Guides, I would guess. But back then, it was pretty cool to do with with Dad, and we had to come up with Indian names. He was called Big Tree. I was Little Beaver. <laughs> My teeth weren't exactly straight back then. <laughs> and so, hence the nickname, Little Beaver. <laughs> oh, well. So, uh, where can I go to get 100%... Oh, I, I have Elvis chosen. Let, that, that's why I'm not getting my 100% shot. What's your sh... Are we in range? No, I gotta move close. Okay, there's our 100% shot. So let's let's get up here and do it. We won't... It doesn't look like we'll be seen either. Alright. One pet sapling down. And Diggs, let's see if you can... Well, you know what I'm going to do? As soon as that scout's gone, I see a ladder over there to the little bit to the left to get up to the roof. I'm going to shoot that last sapling from the roof. I think that's the easier way for me to get close to it. Hey, this guy, how you doing? Uh, yeah, <laughs> zigzag beaver now, right? <laughs> Not little beaver. <laughs> Now, where does it look like we might have a shot? And I see somebody else wandering around over here. Oh, look at the way he's turned. I, you know what? Let's go out of ambush. Uh, out of ambush. I gotta see on Elvis. What you doing up here? Let's wait for the skull crusher to walk. Okay, now he's wandering away. Let's go check out our shot again. And it's good. Boom. Okay, now we got a skull crusher who's wandering by himself. 
I wonder where... Oh, he walked farther away, so let's jump down. Elvis, please don't follow me. Why you suddenly appeared... Don't turn! Let's see if I can get a shot on him. Um, let's check. 100%. Yeah, he wouldn't see us, so we got 100% from there. Let's move there and take care of this guy. Beaver Zag. Yeah, Zigzag Beaver. I like Beaver Zag better than Zigzag Beaver. <laughs> Maybe I could count on you guys to come up with some. Okay, uh, I think it's time to regroup. I don't see any immediate enemies back here. I do see some green things and whatnots that we need to go investigate. So let's regroup. Well, apparently, let's go back here first. It's a glass bottle, which is nice. Oh, there's another pickup. Plastic. And did I see something in this vehicle? No. So there's something, there's a item of interest inside this building. Let's just look outside first before we see if there's a way in there. What do we have out here? I'm not seeing much. I see them up at the front of the building. I see some. Okay, there's another pet sapling to deal with up there. Is that all? Can I get closer? Okay, there's a scout and a pet sapling. Two pet saplings. So I got another pet sapling problem over here. Hmm. Well, we do have another bottle available to us. And that's a stationary scout. So the problem is, it's going to be hard to throw a bottle to just pick up the one. Uh, you know, I'm going to think about this. Let's go inside and see if we can find a way inside this building. Because look, I see something purple. There's cool things in there if we can get to it. We'll find out if it, can we get, is this something we can get to? Or, oh, oh, here's some. Is this something we can get to or will we be able to get in there after the battle? I guess that uh, time will tell. Well, move a little closer, there we go. More plastic. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through here. Wait, there's something here. Old food. No, plastic. Okay, looks like we can barely sneak, I hope, I hope. Oh. Flat ancient beer that is not safe for humans to drink due to the yeast inside creating a potent mix of toxins. This brew in particular is highly sought after by certain models of construction robots who enjoy using heavy machinery under its influence. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Did you see that under number 14 of 17? It says 2,500 experience. Uh, these, these are fun little things to find as far as gaining experience, I'll tell you that much. Uh, gaining experience for doing nothing. Now, did you hear the, 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 they, I think it sounded like they were, they might have noticed us or sniffed us or smelled us, you know, like they do. Well, I think we want to move away from them a little. <laughs> Go fight amongst yourselves. Oh, now that scout has started moving. Okay. Well, let's check the keypad. You know, this keypad, I don't know if it comes through on the resolution, re resolution from you. I see smudge, smudge, smudge. Uh, but before we try it, 
there was one other thing I saw over here to pick up. Uh, let's go see what that says. Maybe it's a clue? Like before we won, it seems like there's always a clue laying around for keypads when we find these things. Sorry to tell you this, Mr. Wilson, but that janky keypad needs a whole new touch panel. Who'd have thunk getting a little gasoline on your fingers would melt your fingerprints onto the screen? Guess that's what you get for buying cheap British shit, but who am I <gasps> to judge? <laughs> <laughs> for all for for all of you that that applies to that was a that was was that a burn <laughs> excuse me there's enough kentucky digs for for me in here it's nice to see they're making digs to against other parts of the world right so pretty much what we saw is we know what the three keys on this number pad are looks like the eight and the five and the one so well is it eight five one? No. Is it a one five eight? No. Is it? Oh God! It could be a lot of things. Good eight one five five eight one five one eight. Oh, okay. Here I'm thinking of all the different combinations, and we got it. So there you go. See this guy's glove? Sure looks a lot like mine. Thought you had the only one, Elvis. He does. His glove's busted. Okay, so that must have been the metal hand guy. Or the metal hand thing that they were talking about. Oh, this guy's wandering out there now. It's gonna be harder to get to those saplings. Hmm. Yum. That's, that's not exciting, but I see multiple colors in here, so let's go check out the multiple colors. Oh, something else. Managed to fend off the looters. Thought I'd sleep here just to be safe. Something was bumping around in the station tonight. Didn't sound human. It's still there. I think it knows I'm here. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, hopefully he was just talking about the frogs. We know we can deal with them. I wonder if there's something else that's bumping around here that we're going to discover at some point. And then uh, this is usually a very promising color. At least when it's in a big weapon case. Oh! oh. Loot. Energy gain mod. A battery system which generates a steady kilowatt charge from the kinetic energy of each fired shot. Ah! So, oh, not just, yes, but look at that. Kinetic energy from each fired shot. Here, though, when you read in the big capitalized print, grants five kilowatts of energy per hit, not per shot. Still, that's a way for us to gain kilowatts without, without having to always go back to sedentary to necessarily buy one and speaking of which i don't know that i have any more energy cells I, i'm gonna have to look now this seems to have been made from a number of salvaged parts probably by an editor so that that's really cool and you know elvis since you're the only one that has kilowatts to use that seems to be something you need to have So let's look at your party weapons and uh, go from there. Oh, have we? Oh yeah, there you are. I was going to say I didn't. I was thinking I was on Elvis, and I'm going. Where didn't we assign him that that good weapon? So you know, I'm still going to keep. You're back up to 80 rage. I'm going to keep the silent weapon on Diggs just to see if we can get it up, his rage up. So he can work on those two saplings. You know, the other thing I could do is, you know, that wandering guy that has 130? I could set up a kill with you. And do we still have you with it? Yeah, you have. Uh, has, hasn't recharged yet. We got two turns. Or two more 
turns for it to recharge. So take that back. I was thinking, oh, let's shoot it, shoot with this burn thing, and then, and then we don't even have our turret. So shame on. I, I hate that I, I have all these on cooldown right now. That's no fun. Or yeah, it's a because it's a three turn cooldown, and it says there's two left. So dang. There goes that plan. Now, what else do we got? This just gets rid of... So none of these... Well, so maybe we have Elvis do the crit kill. Because acid, 30 acid. If And if we did 110 crit with 30 acid... But the thing is, I don't know that the acid takes off right away like the fire, like we know the fire did. See, superheats them upon impact. The other one's not upon impact. So yeah, I guess they, I think we have to ignore. If poison goes past its use by date, does that make it more dangerous or less dangerous? <laughs> I think I don't touch it either way. Is that wise enough for you? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think I have a I think I'm leaving it on digs. I think what we're going to do hmm but then I got to go here and I got to modify here. Yeah. That's your main weapon and if I end up changing your main weapon, I want to make sure this weapon mod follows Elvis no matter what weapon he has. Well, there, that's assigned. And what do we have here? I think, let's let's take a look while we're in here modifying. I don't think we need the reducer right now. I think, the problem is I don't have any, I don't have enough things to use it. So this is kind of silly, but I'm gonna go back to burn at 30 or acid at 20. I, I still like the burn at 30 on this thing that jumps multiple targets. So cost of cast is 90. And we got a quantity of enemies here. Uh, I'm thinking we might need a quick trip back to sedentary just so I can buy kilowatts and energy cell, whatever it's called, for our miasma perk. Just to have it. I, I Maybe not use it if I don't have to, but have it if I need it. What do you, what do you think? Well, let's get out of this room first. And yeah, there's that scout, 130. Oof, I'm glad we didn't move just then, because did you see he peeked in there real quick? Let's get out of here before he turns around and comes back. Okay, let's get back in the corner. And credits-wise, we have 1665 plastic. I think that warrants some energy cells, if you want my opinion. So I'm going to take the map. I'm going to go to... Wow, this is way off in, in a strange direction. I, I'm going back to sedentary, though. Look at there's Old Town Road has a whole nother branch out here. Uh, it must be unlocked to get here though. So there, there must be some gate or something that I missed to take us out here. We'll look when we have a chance, but let's get to sedentary. Yeah, I'm feeling like I want the option of Miasma. Since there's a high quantity of enemies, I, I, I kind of want to... Come on, guys, don't hide. Dylan, don't leave town. It's dangerous. My fiance's out there. Maybe she never left her. Now, i got to figure out where the store is. I think to the left. No, it's right over here. Yeah, to the left and then to the right. This should be the store. Right there. Nice old Bertha. We're back, Bertha. Well, don't just stand there. Buy 
that stuff. Now I can afford this. I guess uh, we're we're finding metapods. We're finding glass bottles. I don't need anything else. I just need energy. We're not finding enough miasma. We're not finding enough stuff. So here we go. I, I think I'm gonna buy two because they give us eighty. And right now I'm sitting at around ten or fifteen. And that would get me up to the 90 by using one. And after that, then if we get a couple kills, that'll also give us some kilowatts. And then the second one would refill us all the way. So that, that attachment will start making these energy cells worth it more because we'll be able to gain the small amounts of kilowatts we need. Because most of what we want to use ever with miasma is like 90, 95, 85, 90, 95, depending on what, what attachments we have. So I'm buying two. Deal. What else you need? One more. Enjoy. All right. Keep your eyes on out there. All right. Now we go right on back. I can't think of anything else we need over here. So spend thrift ruins. Uh, we found the treasure there, so that's good. Any treasures here? No. Old Town Road. Oh. There's a treasure in the Old Town Road. Where, where, oh, the Ritual of Wood. Is that quest too hard for us? No, there's something uh, we missed over on the Old Town Road. So we're going to have to go back and probably take a look there. Is what that sounds like. But right now... Let's uh, keep our focus and come back down to Spendthrift. Alright, so we still got to find our way over there. The Watcher is still watching. <laughs> He's got to be... It's got to be the most boring job in the world, but someone's got to do it, I guess. And before I get in here, let's get in here um, and take a look at the party. I think I can go straight to the party with P. I'll have to... I, that, that, I'm so used to going to I for inventory, but I think I can go straight to party. So we'll have to, I'll have to check that hotkey. Um... Let's get into our backpack. Let's get into our consumable. We now have, where is it? Here it is, an energy cell, and I'm going to use it right now. All right, we're up to 95, and as a double check. Oh, no. Let's go look at the, yeah, party. P does take me right to the party. So as a double check. We are good with kilowatts because this takes 90 and we have 95. So I, I have the ability to use this. And this is a nice because it's with the AP saver so I can use the miasma and then... Um, so maybe that's... Maybe we open back there. We'll have to think about this. We'll have to think about this. We're, we're going to have choices. And, and, and I'm going to double check everybody's skill deck. And we definitely... I think I'm going to keep all the armor eating stuff on this. I think I'm just going to keep this the same. I do miss not having Overwatch, especially with a, a, a field full of enemies. But at the same time, we didn't, didn't we get to see, did we see this work once? I think once it happened. And it's cool when it does. Um, and your deck, I don't know if I want to change anything there. Now, I like the idea of moving and scouting and gaining XD. I'm keeping yours just like this for now. And over here, yeah, we're, I got to get these recharged. I really like these perks, but uh, essentially right now you have no perks, Jade. We got to get a couple turns live. And then this group right here is going to get us live and, and, and give us an extended battle. So let's, let's see how we want to do this. I don't like the idea of the saplings running loose.
So he's wandering dead. Let, let me let me go. Oh wait, wait, there's something here. Zigzag missed something. I th I'm thinking and with that wandering guy, if I can time a bottle toss. Oh look. Didn't we break through this once? The beavers have been busy over here. Building, uh, yeah, dragging around their wood, making another dam over the door. Damn beavers. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to take another look at those saplings. And there, there better not be any more pet saplings back here now. Okay. Now, do I have enough hiding places back here to try and deal with the saplings? We have to worry about this guy over here that wanders. I, I gotta get my bear... Okay, he's starting to come back here now. So I'm thinking after he comes back, let's kind of get out of the way. Let's come in there and see if I can get hiding places to do the old bottle toss and wear down the saplings again. Because I would love uh, to get rid of those saplings. Okay, he's moving away. And if I was able to use a bottle, I'd probably want you, Diggs, hiding like right here. Because you're the silent guy. And then Jade, uh, let's Check get you going. I wonder, I could probably just put you there. And then uh, Elvis, let's get you hidden. Because this guy is about to walk back. We're going to have to wait till he walks away again. And then get over to Jade and ambush. And we're going to have to time it just right. We're going to have to time it just right. Everybody, stay quiet. Let him walk past the saplings, so hopefully we can just entice the one sapling. And, uh, I think he's to a stopping point. I don't think he turns around right away, either. Uh, but let's go into your vest. Let's look at our bottle. Okay, that does pull a sapling this way. And everybody's backs are turned for the most part. So if I brought a sapling here, digs, maybe here is a uh, good. I'm trying to figure what the good good range will be for you. And then not B. Which way is that other sapling looking? It's kind of hard to tell which way these saplings are looking. Okay, so I think they're looking to the side. So I think that might work. I'm loving this bottle trick, by the way. I'm loving this bottle trick. And I don't think... Is that white line means it sees us? I'm hiding, though. Right? That shouldn't mean it, it can see us, right? That's why I hid us behind a log. Because I know if it flanked us... Oh, that's just my toss. That's just my toss line. Okay. I was panicking that it somehow meant that he would see us. So I think this is a decent distance to try it out. Come on, little doggy. All right, digs. Let's let's take a kill here. Now let's find out where your oh, oh this is Elvis. Uh, digs. Let's take a look at your shot. It is 100%. Let's work on that rage, my man. Let's work on that rage. 
All right. Now the question becomes, is anybody else going to be looking? He's going to come back. Oh, let's let's hide. Oh, Jade. I I just realized she was standing. Oh my lord, that would have been horrible. What kind of work ethic? I guess I might call them eager beavers, huh? Or they have that saying. Uh, so Diggs, I, I, I'm thinking, let's come to you. Let's unhide. Can we switch you over here? And when that guy gets past the sapling, I wonder if this... We can kill that sapling quietly behind his back. I wonder. No, because we're out of range. We have to get a little bit closer. So I would have to be... Where would I have to be to be able to reach him? And I'm worried about just running up a couple steps because... You know... <laughs> you know... Now here we got a Witch Doctor Scout Scout. Uh, we obviously could do a bunch of damage with the burn and a miasma and just deal with things that way. Hmm. I'm wondering, uh, can we afford to get digs up there a little farther and make this work? Or maybe, is there any kind of something out wide? That's all too close. Any of the cover out wide is too close. And that's probably just not quite close enough. Look at that. There's a lot of enemies right in a row, and then there's another enemy there. And then we got the really tough guy over here somewhere. Oh, and then this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy smokes, that's a lot of enemies. But we could also, if I open with a miasma over here, I think it only, the miasma can hit up to three, right? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. The miasma can hit up to three. I, I kind of want to say, so I could use the acid here. I got my other armor eater for when this guy gets in close. And then we just got to, the problem is these guys are so close to, to potentially hit us. Aren't they now? Because digs from here, you could move here for a beautiful shotgun. We also have, you know, that wonderful and amazing shotgun. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine freaking enemies. I don't know that I like fighting from this position and that close. Do you? Hmm. Um, I think I, I kind of want to pull out of this. And let me make sure everybody's hidden. Yeah, we're, we're, it says we're hidden, right? That symbol means hidden. Yeah, unhide. Everybody's hidden. Let's, let's let them walk up and start walking away before we all pull back. Let me get on digs. I'm just afraid of a, a mis misclick trying to do this too quick, so sorry about having to watch him wander back and forth. I'm going to try and start maybe at the other end with that heavy armored guy and use my armor shot and hang on to the miasma until they approach us, because how much you want to bet they're going to group when they approach us? It's just that there's so many so close, I, I, I wouldn't be able to take them out fast enough, I don't think. You know? 
Go, guys. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're out of here. I want to try and scout out a better, better opening spot for this battle that's going to take place. This battle is going to take place. Okay, we have a wandering guy there wandering away. Let me take a look at the roof. Maybe. Get everybody up here. Okay, I think we're all up. So, what I'm thinking is uh, we're going to go loud. Elvis, I'll have you in the corner here. Diggs, I probably don't want you too far away. Although I hate that it's only half cover. But I do want you kind of nearby, or maybe I bring Diggs down where there's full cover. Because he's his job will be running out, and uh, I kind of feel like I want all of us to open up there on the Gunmaster. I can eat away his armor with the first shot with Diggs. I'm going to wait for this scout to move as far away as possible. And we're just going to blast into this Gunmaster. And start with that. I don't know if that's smart. I think the other roof is uh, farther away and safer, maybe. And work on the Gunmaster from there. I have a feeling they'd come at us more from multiple directions there, though. You know, they'd come through that building and come all around us. Whereas this way, that's my only thinking there. Is if I set up over there, it's better for the gunmaster and being farther away from everybody. But then when they scatter, they have options to go through that building to get to us instead of straight straight to us. Whereas here, doesn't it seem like they'd have to come straight for us? Diggs, he's he's far away. I'm gonna talk all day if I don't. Gonna do some stupid. Yeah, get you down there. Let's just hide you there for now. And Jade, let's... Because uh... you're going to get a kill. I can use your sniper rifle at this range on that guy. And you'll get the crit. Which is better than your other weapon right now. See, we got two rages. And pretty soon Diggs will also have a rage. Once this firefight goes, I'll have my asthma on my side. So we got a lot of tools. We got a lot of tools on our side. Yeah, I want that scout to be farther away. I want to focus and really wear down that gunmaster uh, before. Because remember, way off in the distance, there's a witch doctor too. Ah, oh, did we see them run pretty far last time and be able to heal? But at least we'd get rid of the gunmaster's armor. Well, we got Miasma for next turn if we need it. So let me get down to Diggs. So that's the last thing I have to do is make sure he's in the right spot to be able to shoot. Hmm. And you have the ice gun, so will you be able to reach the ice gun from here, I'm thinking? Let's find out. No, we're just out of sight for the ice ice gun. So maybe I, can, I, I wait for the guy to wander back. Sorry, guys. Um, let's get out of this. Let me, let me bring you back over on this side, and then I can pull you back to the building at some point. And that'll be, we'll open with the ice. No, I, I gotta open loud. 
because I got to get rid of the the armor. So, uh, Elvis, you're going to be opening first. So let's get to you. You'll do your armor removal, and then we'll go. We'll go after that. So I I, I think I want that scout to have to run towards us. So I'm going to wait till he gets far away. And it means one more round of waiting for him to walk away. Hey, Avatar, how you doing? Aha, happy Father's Day. Yeah, I had a great day yesterday watching everything uh, remotely. I was attached remotely to see everything going on, so it, it worked out really well. Essentially felt like I was right there, so that was nice. Able to talk to everybody. Made the best of what we had to make that work. Okay, we're about to go live. This is where it all comes down. And he's about as far away as he's going to get. And we are going live. Elvis, I hope you have a shot. In fact, uh, I hope you have this kind of a shot. So it'll be 82%, and we're going for... Oh no, so the straight armor eater is gone. That's also on um, cooldown. Well, when you don't have what you want, you do the next best thing. And this is a crit. Oh my lord, look at that. Uh, Diggs can finish him off. Well, not quite, because we, we might, well, yeah, because we're not getting a crit, I guess. Because uh, they're aware of us now, so I, I lose the crit. Now 35 on this guy, we're going to need the push because the acid gets rid of 30 and that would leave him with 5, so I still got to take the shot. So I'm going to switch over to the long range sniper weapon. Problem is, uh, that would be wasting rage, would it not now? So the gunmaster is going to get a chance and we're going to take a rage shot somewhere else. Jade, who can you see? Oh, is that all you can see? Well, we're, we're kind of wasting a rage shot, dang it. Don't you think? Uh, let's go to Backpack. It'll be a consumable. It'll be costing us plastic, but it'll save my rage for when the others come against us. Because we saw how good the rage did for Elvis. I need to save a rage. Uh, no metapod, no energy cell, a frag. We got two frag grenades. We got. We don't need the massive knocker, napalm. We only have one, and uh, the sapling cedar. <laughs> uh, we might be able to play with that one of these days. But uh, let's let's go back to the regular frag grenade. We got a couple, and give it a go. I can't throw it there. No, oh, it was a nice thought. Well, you haven't moved yet. So let's move you forward so you can reach them. How about that? You still got both your movements. So you're now going to move here, throw the grenade, and then the gunmaster's gone. Now we got him. Bye bye. Cover your ears and your eyes. Okay, now it doesn't matter because the acid finishes him off. He should drop. Now we got a pet sapling to worry about. Let's see if they group up nicely for that miasma play.
And we gotta make sure wherever possible we kill these guys. Wow. Holy smokes. Hmm. Elvis, let, let's go to Elvis first. And let's just see where we can send our miasma shot. That's not as interesting. That's more interesting. So we're out of reach of a couple of these others a little farther. So it means I'd have to concentrate on these two scouts uh, afterwards to just take them out. And it looks like Diggs more than likely, well, I don't know, I can get you close enough to him, but you'd be, oh no. I wonder if behind that tree, but then the sapling can reach you. So, well, you can probably try from there, even though one of them has cover, it won't be as guaranteed a shot, but I'm going miasma right here, right now. Storm's coming. Okay, so they're also burning. Digs, I'm gonna follow up with you first. Mainly because I want to get to the, I want to negotiate with these guys, and see if uh, your negotiating skills can work from where your position there. Hundred percent to hit and uh, 30, 65 to hit. I'm going for it. And they both did basic damage. Well. We have a Skull Crusher, which Wes, I mean, uh, I don't, uh, which uh, Elvis could kill. And then I could just toss another grenade. That, well, yeah, you see, in that stink, uh, they're, they're, they're burning 30. And of course, they're only, <laughs> oh man, this, this, this game is playing, playing with our minds today by just getting them above acid kill or above burnout kill. So they both could shoot if I don't do something. And the thing is, I want Elvis to kill this because his base shot will kill the Skull Crusher. And that's starting to leave two, two scouts and a witch doctor. And then a sapling should be far enough away. So I have to use another grenade as much as I would prefer not to. So we've just used up our grenades, but it does that. Heads up. Wow, that's good. One of them, one of them drops something green. That means Jade also gets to take a shot. So Elvis, uh, let's come back to you. Let's take a look at your shot, and that's the one I want. And we hit, so that should help recharge our kilowatts also. Isn't that kind of cool? Now, I have the ability here, and this is Rage. So, Jade, that'll give us an 80, 80, 80 damage with your Rage. And if we get a good enough shot, the Overkill could really help us. So, let's see who you can see. And the Overkill is only 10, so it's not going to help us kill this guy. Who else might we be able to do something with. So I can only hit that cabinet. That's not... Oh, that is... That's gonna blow up the sapling? So what that what that does is it gets us down to three enemies. And I would like to hope we can take care of three enemies. We may get some hits from the scouts. Yeah, I could have moved him first, but I was worried about... I couldn't think of a, a nice flank shot. I, I figured he'd take a nice flank shot, which I didn't want, from these scouts. That's why I had him shoot from where he was. And, you know, in hindsight, maybe that wasn't the best decision. 
Because I could have easy, more easily flanked those guys, but I didn't see the cover. At least not a, a quick glance. I, I'm doing this to take out the sapling. No, but that does that's that's a waste of rage once again. It's just a bummer that I won't kill this guy. But I think the sapling's far enough away it won't reach us. Let's let's hurt this guy as much as we can. Yeah, he's he's pretty low. The witch doctor's gonna heal him though. Ah, doggone it. Our rage was wasted. Except, now I might be able to do something with that shotgun we were talking about. Now, if I came Diggs, let's go, let's go to Diggs. Because you still have one more shot in the negotiator. And I feel like we need to do some negotiating now. And if I bring you back here... Maybe this time we can negotiate uh, a, a better deal. What do you think? Maybe if I bring you there, will it go out far enough? I think it will. I think if I come here, I can hit both. I'm going to take that chance, and we're going to give it a go. Now, this is 2 AP, so I got to sprint and shoot. So let's get the sprint and shoot going. Um, oh, it's on a... Gosh darn it, look at it, it's on a cooldown. I, I what? It's not letting me use it. Oh, wait, okay, I, I don't... I have to show where I want to go. And this is where I want to go. Because I think this, according to that marker, picks them both up. Okay, let me, let me redo that. I almost blew it. There we go. I like the fact that he sprints, right? Okay, 55 crit. Let's hurt these guys good. And this time we got to deal with them well because uh, we got a witch doctor waiting in the wings. We also got a freaking sapling down here. Uh, I'm I'm burning through consumables is what it is looking like. Um, Jade, I'm probably going to regret all these consumables. Now I have two options. Whoops. Let's go to consumables. And I keep wanting to tab through these things and it sends me out of there going, you idiot. Now we do have another frag grenade. It does 50. So if I can manage to hit them both, and apparently I cannot. So the other one I could potentially use, I think it has a wider radius is this. So I can get them both burning. It does less damage, but then they burn another 20, right? So this would... They're current, currently sitting at 50. Yeah, so that they should burn out. And I miss digs. Watch this! Except I had Elvis throw it and not Jade, right? Oh, Elvis still can shoot. Okay, Elvis, can you see that thing below you? Yes. That's your job. Think I got him. Okay, now these guys are burning and they're gonna die. So we can everybody now can focus on the witch doctor. And Jade, you have the tactical disc thingy. I'm gonna move you here. And we'll see if we have a little old ricochet shot. So I think he'll have a hard time flanking you. Okay. Let's, um... Switch weapons. And see what we can do. Oh, 
Oh man. Well, there's a direct shot, and that's that's about all it looks like. Well, maybe. We haven't tried this angle. 20% to hit. That's a little too min that's a little too tricky. So we're just gonna do the direct shot, because that's the shot we have right now. And at least start the damage on him. I don't think he can hurt us that much. Going for the flank. And he couldn't get the flank. He's in good cover. But you know, we also got digs over here. And digs, let me take a look at your weaponry. I think you're you do a reload. That's the only problem with you. Although we have the ice gun available. So uh, let's switch to the ice gun. That does not require a reload. And I'm kind of feeling, okay, that's out of range. And that cover doesn't quite cut it, but it gives you a nice shot. I guess that, that that's explosive or something. Uh, but I don't want to explode anything just for the hell of it. Shoot! Okay, he's he's wearing down nicely. Uh, Elvis, let's take a look at you. And let's just check your regular shot. It's probably not good based on his cover. Okay, it's probably not good because we can't reach him. So, let's get back to moving and figure out best place to move. Because that uses 2 AP. We, we, we are... This is where I'm going. I wish we had... Okay, we, we, we recharge our armor eater. That, at least we're recharging our, our stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I gotta play the whole... Uh, yeah, it's too bad the gas tanks don't blow instead of just that box back there. But I guess we gotta... We gotta... Well, let's let's go with the, that bouncer shot and see if we can get around the cover. Let's give that a go first. We're just going to reload the tactical disc. And see if there's any, any angles open for us. So there's nothing to bounce quite back enough. Doggone it. Oh. Yeah, zero we have is not we have a really nice zero percent shot we could take. Another 0% shot. So I, I guess we just have to reposition uh, right now. I, I don't know that there's anything else uh, open to us at the moment. And I guess we'll try moving in. Maybe oh, we're going to catch fire. We will not try moving in yet. And then Elvis, 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 Elvis. We, we can't make it all the way to him to get a nice shot or anything even like it remotely like that. So maybe I just move us down to the ground level. Well, this witch doctor, if, if we came here just to get close, he has no cover from which to shoot us. And I don't... I don't think they stand in the open, do they? I guess we'll find out.
Oh, he, we, we got him scared. He's, he's running for his life now. He is running for his life. And the thing is, he's standing behind that explosive thing. So I have a feeling, let's take a shot and hit what we need to hit and gain some more kilowatts and do that. There you go. Thank you, Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctors are not the smartest. Yeah, not the brightest bulbs in the chandelier, are they? Okay, we are done. Let's go. Let's go find out what loot we have over here. Trigger audio. Oh, we could have triggered a distraction over here. Boiling an egg. I can set a timer. <laughs> I wonder how. What the. What the cool way would have been that we could have gone there. What's with all the cars? What kind of place is this? Yeah, it's it's yield gas station, my friend. Metapod. We don't need it. Oh, gross. A person. I don't want to see this. Sick monsters. I think this is Baxter. Oh, damn, dude. You, you sure? Nothing left but bones and... And a prosthetic arm. They said something about a metal hand. Oh, no. They thought they killed you. They killed her. Elvis, I'm sorry. Just, just watch your anger. Why do you keep telling me to watch my anger? Uh, we gotta stay, 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 Tiger Tough. Enough with the catchphrases. People I love keep disappearing on me. Elvis, we hear you. Joseph said his daughter found out a way to win this war. Maybe she left something behind. Let's take a look. Find Baxter's gear. Well, something's over here. Oh man, that that's tough. That's tough. We we met her. We talked with her earlier on. That's tough. Old mechanic bot made by the originals. History accessed. What was the last car you fixed? Model Z Guanica. Replaced the thermal charging port. Who built the car? Same folks who built me. Edison. We care. We share. We illuminate America. They rebuilt this country from the ground up. Turned it into paradise. Uh-huh. We're beginning to doubt that. Hood and see what the problem is. State your purpose. Eddie Lojack, certified mechanic for all Edison brand vehicles. How can I help? You fix cars? When I can. Edison vehicles don't need much fixing. <laughs> Safe, self-driving, carbon negative, zero emissions. Pretty much perfection on wheels. Edison, fun fact. The U.S. Constitution hasn't been abolished. It's just been put on hold. <laughs> to fix the cracks in the great stability, Edison will need absolute authority. Uh-huh. Sleep well, friend. We're kind of seeing how this all went down, eh? I think one more sweep here. Then we go back, tell Dad what's going on, give him the backpack. I think we pretty much picked everything up. Um, let's go back and uh, give out the, the bad news. Gator Zone. All right, we got to go find uh, her dad. I'm not looking forward to uh, this little talk. Uh, who wants to tell Joseph we found his daughter cooking in a bathtub? <laughs> oh. Elvis, you okay? Yeah, A-OK. -okay. 
If I can't kill my emotions, what good am I out here? I don't know. You kill enough emotions and you might turn... What? Evil? I'm dreading this conversation, my man. I'm dreading this conversation coming up. Where is he again? Is this him? You gotta get out of here. It's a trap. Oh, now he's dying too. Oh no! They got us surrounded. We got Gunmaster, and I don't have everything recharged. He's gonna shoot. Oh, they got it set up so the first turn nobody shoots us? Two Gunmasters. Okay. Well. I feel like the first thing I gotta do is spend a turn and recharge my miasma. Now where are... The problem is the miasma won't alone take care of it. Now I can't... <clears throat> I, I see a barrel there, but I don't think anybody's close enough to the barrel. Oh man, we are in big trouble. I was expecting a, a, a tough conversation. Instead, we're getting a super tough fight instead. Oh, baby. So... Oh, baby. I don't think we can run, my friends. I don't think we can run. We gotta fight this out somehow. The only good thing is our ammunition is reloaded. Um, I can... If I came to this point, and I, I don't think I can even run and gun with Biggs. Did that recharge? I mean, sprint and shoot. Well, no, I think it's so showing that it's recharged. I could see sprint and shooting here uh, for crits on these guys if I switch my weapon. Except the crits is only 25, and it gets digs in a bad spot. Do I have any other multiple... Multiple hit situations? So where... What I gotta try and do is run us... Where... Where can we pick a spot to fight from? That's what I wanna know. Uh, the barrel is not gonna blow anybody up. Nobody's close enough to the barrel. Yeah, I don't know. Why is the uh, ambush spot at the bottom? I mean, I can run a long way and just try to avoid them for a turn. Right? But the, the, none, of, none of the cover cover is great overall. None of the cover is a absolutely amazing coming out here. Now I have the turret back. So 
So there's that. Yeah, you always have a choice. So you're saying I don't have to ambush them is what what you're saying? They're ambushing us. This is this is battle. I don't think I can just stand here and not take it. So I got a tree here that I could get someone to. Let let's start moving piece by piece. No! I already took a step mate. That was a misclick. Fudge cake. Jade, hang on. Hang on. Jade, hang on. Uh, I want to get you back. We have a tree here that could be flanked by almost everybody. That's that's the problem. Uh, can we get into the, the bushes <laughs> and hide? I think it's too late for Jade. Uh, I think we're too too late for Jade. So this is a bush, but once they know we're here, is it that that's not much cover, is it? Probably not. Um, and this is highly flankable. I think I'm dashing out. Oh man, I'm pulling back. Let's face it, I'm pulling back see what what we can do with this and digs I pull back you to here just to shoot him well digs I can pull you here and we'll we'll shoot at the scout that's closest I, the witch doctor doesn't scare me as much I, he's like the witch doctors give me give me the feel that they're like an old man and feeble and not so good at shooting but they're good at healing kind of a thing so let's move here let's try the ice gun and give it a go Oof. Too bad I don't have another shot. Jade, I only have one action now with you. And that one action is probably to put out a freaking turret. But I could kill the scout. See, I can put it here. See, you're, you're, you're going to get smothered and killed over there, Jade, if I don't move you. That's the problem. So I think I have to save the turret for another day. And my misclick killed me because I could have pulled you back and then put out the turret. Now I can just pull you back. Flanked by the witch doctor, but he's the least of our worries right now. Doggone it. Please be a double move so you can't shoot. Everybody double move. Well, except for him. Now the old guy is going to get... Oh, he's going to try healing, but he couldn't reach! Oh, thank goodness! Okay, digs. Now, Jade, I don't. I I uh, could probably put a turret out here to great effect. And if I I could actually kill these guys, I could put a turret out, say here, kill the uh, or, well, it wouldn't kill the gunmaster. Elvis. This is what I'm thinking. I think I think you're you're due for a recharge. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay. Here I'm trying to press the space bar to use it, and I'm gonna charge your kilowatts, because you'll still have an action. And then if I use this, doesn't it mean it's a free action? And I can use it here and start a damage chain there. And they'll be burning. All right, then grenade wise, I have that super grenade still, but I also have a shotgun if I go to digs, but I don't know if he's in quite in the right spot to use it. I might have to move him here and switch guns to there. It's a hundred percent hit on both, but the crit kind of sucks. I would still have a grenade to follow up. And uh, let's get back. So so we have a potential shotgun shot on two of them. Now let's take a look at the grenade and what it would do. It's that super frag that we have not used yet. What does a super frag do? Okay. That could help. I wish I wish the super I wish the the grenades removed armor like it does in other games. Yeah, he'll also his crit will improve for moving. So I'm thinking about using this to wear them down more and then maybe his crit will be a better option or chance to kill him. Oh, Niels, you're, you're, this got ugly. We got ambushed. It's part of the story. This ambush is part of the story. No, we were not ready for it. Holy smokes. Time for a surprise! Okay, that hurt. So, Diggs, if I move you here with the shotgun, you might get hit. You, you may be taking a hit here. Better you right now than Elvis. Okay, the crit is way better at 55. So the witch doctor is burning. No, he's not burning. Is he burning? No, he he's burning. So the witch doctor's dead. The gunmaster is not quite dead, but if I can get another shot on him, problem is uh, we're about to get flanked on the other side. <laughs> we are about to get flanked on the other side. So part of me says uh, if I move Jade here and use the disc gun to try and do more hurt on the witch doctor. Can I get enough hurt that he burns out? I mean, the gunmaster. I don't know if I can get enough through that armor, but I. Th oh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! We have, we have options. We have a freaking turret, and I could probably place the turret right there. Maybe. Let's see how. What? What's your? Th oh no, her throwing range is only about here. So the turret would not, well, it's, it would have a 60, uh, uh, I'm trying the turret. I kind of like the idea of putting it here. So we have the 100% flank on the scout and we'll still have a, maybe an okay shot on the gunmaster, maybe. Yeah, you think my shot will be good enough against the Gunmaster? Because, uh, yeah, I do have... I do have... Yeah, there w there's no way I can get away all the shots, but at least... You're right, maybe, maybe bringing it over here... is a better... 
better idea. Okay, I'm shooting the blaster. Uh, yeah, he's gonna hurt. Let's face it. Uh, let's see what your shot is. Let's see if we can bank it against the gunmaster. Let's find out. Ninety percent shot. Yeah, the problem is the base damage. If we get a crit, it's only gonna take forty off his total. But that would be enough for him to burn out. If we get a crit. And that's only a 25% chance. But it's really my only chance to hit him. I could try the sniper rifle, but I think we're too close. So we just have to hope for the 1 in 4 chance for a crit. What can I say? Or do, yeah. Mm. Watch how he's done. We got the crit! He's burning down! Now we gotta get rid of our flanking shots, and I think both of them go there. He will still hurt, but if I do both shots here, I think we have a chance to take him out. I think we do, I hope. So that means we're down to two people shooting at us now. Ouch. That was bad. We were against a tree, so we didn't get knocked back. Oh, he, refle he deflected the shot. You just saw that perk take place. And these guys are dropping. Okay. Okay. Now let's hope that guy doesn't come back and re-ambush us yet again. But we're okay. Okay. So we have a big threat though. Our biggest threat is right there. So I think we kind of got to back off to give ourselves a little time. Kind of recover and then go at this guy. So that's the best way to do that. If I pull back with digs... We have to make sure we can kill this guy. So I can pull back here and still have 100%. The question then is, can Elvis... What is your movement then? It's nowhere near good enough to take this guy out. Well, it's not. Uh, let's just say it's it. Yeah, it's probably near good enough to take him out. But you, you, you. Um, yeah. So instead, we're gonna still have this guy hounding us. I can't get us to full cover anywhere. And Elvis and Jade will be prone to being shot by the scout. Oh, uh, now we have Diggs. He can knock somebody down. Question is, can he reach that person right now? There's the question. Who could you reach? You could reach this guy and knock him down. No, you're a step out of range, is what that tells me. Oh, baby. Well, we could we could tackle this guy, but that's that's really not worth it because it, it will it would be much nicer to have the ability to tackle him. So let's uh, get back to the thinking. Put our thinking caps back on, and we have a shot here. And if I back off, if I could come out farther 
Now that's with the negotiator. We need to switch for the ice gun. The be best distance I can get on the ice gun is there. Now we're talking. Maybe something can happen. I'll go 84% in cover. Oh, we got the credit! That's even better. Everybody runs away now. Everybody runs away. And then we also have knockback once he comes towards us. Uh, th then, then we can, then we can beat up on him. Then we can beat up on him. So let's pull. No, not, not you, Diggs. Also, Diggs now has, uh, rage. He is enraged. Jade, how far back can you get? I, I'm moving you as far back as I can get you. Your face, my fist, let's go! Elvis, let's move you back, too. Make him run to us, then we can do a knockback. Hopefully he gets close enough, so that then we can use our shots against him. And uh, what have we got left here? Oh, we still have an action? Oh, because of the crit and we, we recharged an action. So I'm, I'm basically going to reload the silent gun. And wait for the guy. Come on, Gunmaster. We're waiting for you. So, let's see what the knockback or the tackle could do for us. It knocks him back here, is what it says. Is there? A, I wish I could control where the knock would happen, but I, I don't. And I don't like that location for our, the rest of us. So if I do a knockback, it stuns him for a turn. That uses two AP. Now next turn, I'd be able to do a nice rage shot against him for overkill. Now Elvis. What I'm wondering is uh, we have Armor Eater uh, back in service. Except I cannot get anything better than a 50-50 shot due to his cover. So, uh, Jade, since you're hurting and you have a good arm, maybe we try knocking... The thing is, I... Uh... Yeah, it is destructible cover. So Jade, maybe you try destroying the cover. Let's just come here. No. Yeah, that that doesn't I can't just it it is destroyable cover. But I can destroy it with something else, maybe? Hmm. Well, the tactical disc. I'll just stand her there and reload. I have a direct shot. So maybe I can get an angle. I can get the tactical disc just to shoot that thing out. So let's, let's try that. Let's just switch over. Reload. That will hopefully destroy the cover. Oh yeah. Let's let's just destroy the cover. Now he's standing in the open. Now you have a much better shot here. Oh yeah. And we can take off his armor. And then we can knock him back. Uh, 
and that's going to give him a, a lot more hurt. Now he's going to lay down there, and guess what we have available to shoot against him for the kill? Um, who's close to rage? You know, I don't want to. I don't want Diggs to take the shot because he's in rage. I don't need rage on this shot. So um, Elvis, you could do the kill shot because I need to build up your rage. Let's come up here. He's down there for 20. Once again, I do not want Diggs to take the shot. Can we switch over to the sniper weapon? And check out the shot. Do we have one? Yeah. In my sights. All right. Now there better not be a uh, level two. Okay, so guess what? We leveled up, so we're back at full health. Everybody should be back at full health. Oh baby, we are back at full health. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm not going anywhere else because I don't need another ambush. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Metapod. That level up couldn't have come at a better time. Plastic. And I don't, I don't know if I see much else laying around here at the moment. Now, where is the father? Is he dead now? Looks like he died. And I don't really want to move around anymore at this point because we've been going on uh, long enough, guys. Uh, I, I'm going to make a sudden stop here all of a sudden. I'm afraid to get, get another ambush. That guy that called the ambush on us is still out there somewhere. And... Uh, we got, we'll open up next episode spending our skill points and uh, re-looking at our squad. Uh, we'll have to figure out where we need to take the backpack. All that good stuff coming up. I hope you enjoyed today's. We got a, we got an extra battle thrown in by surprise. What do you know? <laughs> and we're still standing. What do you know? So thanks for some great, great ideas you guys were spitballing and throwing out because... You know, sometimes I tunnel in, and I love looking up and then getting some new ideas and new things to try that I might not have thought about. I don't always. I don't think I used every suggestion, but there were there were some that I think helped our situation when I chose to go with them. So thank you guys so, so much. That's the fun of doing these live streams with y'all, and I appreciate your input and your help. But this is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching. And boy, a lot's been going on. Some unpleasant stuff's been going on. But I'm finding this playthrough quite interesting so far, I must admit. Hope to see y'all next time. Y'all take care. Appreciate y'all dropping in. Uh, more than you know, I appreciate you guys dropping in. Thanks so much.